Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everyone. Uh, welcome to part two of uh, our topic today, uh, road and pavement. So uh, for DQS three and one construction measurements, um, and uh, let's start uh, with uh, our uh, where we have uh, stopped last last video. In the last video, we has we have discussed about. Uh, first is the excavation work and second is a flexible pavement and the second uh, video is on the curbs uh, road signages and uh, uh, rigid pavement so curbs uh, curbs is referred to section F uh, it's either a concrete works or either precast concrete uh, or in situ concrete. Okay, uh, if it's a precast curbs, it should be measured in meter. Okay, uh, and uh, if it's um, uh, in situ concrete, it should be measured accordingly to section F. Okay, uh, any fair ends, rounded ends, angles, intersections, and the like shall be deemed to be included. So these are the things that you need to list in your description. The size of the curbs, okay, and if they have a rep catalog uh, or other reference number, it should be included as well in the description. Uh, reason being because we want the contractor to uh, order and to price the same item that has been prescribed in the drawing. That's why we need to mention that in the description. Mix or strength of concrete. Uh, this is um, basically if they are using grade 15, 20 and so on. Okay, jointing and bedding materials. Just to let you know the curb if it's precast, it's normally being ordered uh, in numbers. So it has a specific length, you know, and it has to be jointed to be jointed on site. So that's why jointing and bedding material is very important. So you need to mention the method of fixing, uh, jointing and bedding the, the curb as well in your description. So this is an example. This is the curb, and this is what we call as a bedded, okay? And then, uh, and this is what we call as curve curbs, okay? Or curve on plan curbs, okay? And normally, curb is uh, being supplied from factory if it's a precast in uh, pieces like that with a, a standard uh, measurement, uh, with a standard uh, size. Uh, if you look at the drawing, if you look at the slide now, okay, and the length is 1000, okay, and this is what we call as the width is 150 and the height is a 300. Okay, this is how you describe, it looks very, it's a look like a very long description, but always remember, don't freak out, don't memorize, but always refer to your SMM and your drawings to do this description okay look at this precast concrete curb okay these are the items that you like to measure and grade 25 is the grade of concrete and what will be the size in that case uh, they are using uh, one one two five or times 250 and six uh, mm long okay bedding and pointing in cement and sand mortar Okay, setting on and including in situ concrete grade 15 bed. Okay, this is what we call as a bed. Okay. And um, including all necessary excavations, compaction formworks, and disposal of surplus material. And the unit measure is in meter. So you need to have your meter uh dimension here it's good that if you can have uh, the exact location where the curb will be placed uh, on site okay uh, if you have a curb with uh, outlet opening this is what we call as outlet opening okay it has to be mentioned as extra over okay uh, 
and uh, it is in number uh, it's an o uh, and, and it should be enumerated eh, in numbers if you have uh, a circular on plan or what we call as a curve this is what we call as a curve um, a circular on plan curve it has to be measured separately uh, and mentioning the radius of the curve uh, reason being the contractor need to price it differently because of the nature of work to make the uh, the curve on plan uh, layout for that particular curve again in meter okay you need to mention the meter always remember dimension here need to be two decimal Painting to curve mm, quantity is the same and you need to sp uh, specify what type of painting they are using okay this is a road marking okay um we have like uh, arrows double lines uh, signages like stop and so on uh, road marking uh, i refer to section u surface over 300 mm girth square meter not exceeding 300 mm girth okay it should be in linear meter stating the girth in stages of 150 mm and you need to mention kind and quality nature of the base preparatory work number of codes and method of application oh this is the example there yeah? prepare and apply two coats of approved thermoplastic reflective road paint okay this is a very specific painting for road painting yeah including clearing surface from dirt grease or latins and other foreign mat matters for center line okay this is the work that you need to provide on site okay 100 mm cap and 150 mm girth okay unit is in meter okay road signages is in number you need to describe everything in one description okay the size kind quality material attached method of fixing painting including all necessary work okay for example we have a stop signage stop road warning regulatory sign type okay you need to mention the type that means prescribed in the drawing complete with mild steel hollow section post cast in concrete footings okay including all necessary fixing bracket welding painting and excavation as per build diagram build diagram refer to your drawing okay uh, so that when the contractor price this item they can always refer back to the um, build diagram that you attach in your bq and the drawing if you have a drawing number that will be good okay so these are the example of the road signages okay now let's look at the rigid pavement this is what we call as a rigid pavement uh, if you're aware uh, this rigid pavement come in pieces and they have this expansion joint okay so let's look at the items for pave pavement okay uh, they have item for excavations as well disposal of water disposal of excavated material if you have fillings you have to include fillings and uh, sand lining uh, and lean concrete uh, for the base uh, it depends if you are using sand lining it will be meter square if you are us using lean concrete in according to section f it should be meter cube so you have to be aware okay uh, in this particular um, uh, paving, uh, there, there is an item called paving block and normally this paving block is interlocking types and it is measured in meter square. Okay, this is a process of laying the paving block. Okay, this is what we call as uh, compaction. Uh, of, of course they do the excavation first and then they need to do the compaction for soil to receive uh, the next layer the next layer is what we call as a sand lining or lean concrete layers okay uh, this is what we call as a filling in as well also refer to section yeah that's right section d okay and then they have items called Paving block uh, in interlocking, so it depends if you are using interlockings. And then, 
and then uh, lastly is the uh, sand filling uh, if you are using sand for uh, to fill the gaps between the pavement uh, paving blocks okay this is how you describe a paving blocks for other items like excavation disposal of water is just like what we have discussed in video one so for this video two let's focus on the paving block because it's a new item and for paving block uh, this is the example of the description in your slipstock paper paving block okay if it's using interlocking you, you have to mention interlocking and you have to mention the thickness okay where can you find the thickness in your drawing cross section of this paving block details filling joint with and including sand lab in strict accordance with the manufacturer recommendations you need in meter square and you need to fill in your dimension the length and the width of your uh, paving blocks it's good that if you can write where is the location of a paving block and how do you get this 20 times 2 uh, dimension so that the next people the next person looking at your slips of paper they can make a, a easy checking and reference okay uh, block edge restrain okay if you look at this okay this is the block edge restrain uh, it's the end uh, the aging block okay uh, the size you have to mention and on including in situ concrete grade 15 bed and baking 50 mm thick let in strict accordance with the manufacturer recommendation and it's normally in meter edging block is normally at the edge uh, of the uh, paving blocks uh, and then if you look at this this is what you call as a cross section okay you have a edge block uh, and then you have a um, details like formation level and then if you have a sand um, as a bed or concrete as a bed you have to mention it as well okay hard standing uh, hard standing this is what we call as a hard standing example of hard standing and this is a paving block details as cross section yeah and then if you look at this this is what we call as a sub base material and uh, measure as previous uh pre refer to previous video okay and you have a sand bedding here and then uh, uh the last layer is what we call as a concrete or brick paving paving block and don't forget the item for the edge or what we call as a restraint block we have a concrete slab type of pavement okay this is the details have thermac as well if you are using thermac so you need to replace it with the paving paving blocks okay these examples are using a pavement but using a concrete pavement so that's the end of part two uh, i'll see you guys again for part three um, please prepare your drawings uh, and your smm for part three see you soon